I'm, I'm, I think I, you need a cape, man. <laughs> I have the tights on. <laughs> they bind a little, but that's why you wear them. <laughs> Jesus. Good morning, Killer Bee Nation. Yeah, it's a beautiful, what is, what is this, like end of February, middle end, end of February. middle end, middle end. Yes. And um, this wonderful lady, Pat, has, um, uh, she moved down here from back east. We won't give any specific locations, but she was a beekeeper. She took classes. She knows what we're talking about. She knows the language. She knows bees, which is really cool because <laughs> she brought her nice, she had two really nice hives. We're going to go look at them in a minute. Two really nice hives. She brought them there empty, of course, brought them from all of her equipment from Illinois. When you fall in love with bees, you fall in love with bees, except for these bees, but we'll talk about that in a minute. And so she brings her two hives down, sets them in the back 40 here on her beautiful property here in Hereford. And two or three days later, boom, there's bees in them. Well, now, how long after that did they chase you off? Oh, well, that was just out there one day checking on them when they did that. So like like a couple of years them. later or something? They seemed to be very happy when I rehomed them. They didn't bother me really at all when I did that. Right, right. They Move seemed on. so happy to have a home, and they were building comb yeah. that they really didn't Overjoyed about give it me all. a hard time at all. Until, of course, they chased Pat a quarter of a mile. One time they did. They, oh, I got in the house. but. Okay. Oh, yeah. And hey, Pat told me on the phone, she said, she went in, closed one door, and then close another door, and then close another door. It's like it's like you, you gotta it's, you gotta get away from these things. You gotta hop into a vehicle. This is what I tell people when we do safety and lecture safety lectures for like uh, police, sheriff, search and rescue, and all that. And we tell the people always ask, what if we're out in the middle of nowhere on a horse or hiking, and we get into these things and get chased off? Well, you gotta cover your head and head for cover. Yep. That's all you can do. Uh, get away, turn around, go back the same way you came, because if you get bounced, all right, if they bounce off of you, now there's two schools of thought on that. Some people think it's a warning shot. I think it's a missed shot. Ooh. I don't think these things are very nice. I think that they aren't going to warn they you. They don't warn you. No, they're just going to attack and all that. So, Pat calls us up and says, um, I got to get rid of these things. Liability's too high in Arizona. It's woo, way high. And so we're going to get uh, on our boots and uh, get started to get suited up. Daniel's already getting suited up. And uh, Amanda behind the camera, of course. And we're going to walk over and see what the hell is going on with these bees and make it safe. So, uh, and might even get out the drone. Want to ride? It's a four-seater. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, I'm going to get my I'm going to get my boots on and then we can walk over. Okay, because good. if it ain't the bees, it's the damn thorns. You know, you know, people always ask me, Pat, if I smoke bees. Right, and I tell them, well, I live in Bisbee, they're hard to keep lit, but once you get them growing, they're sweet. <laughs> what? Anyway, <laughs> we never have any fun. So, so, so yep, so we're going to go back. Now, Daniel already uh, clarified, verified, and rectified that <laughs> that they're, one of the hives definitely has bees in it. Now, it's nice and chilly, although it's warming up rapidly. And so it was like uh, 26 degrees this morning up at the ranch wow. in Bisbee. So, uh, nice and chilly this morning, warm the sun is warm, so one of the hives is active as hell. We're going to find out if the other one is also. So we're going to uh, walk back and see what the hell's going on. You about ready, hon? Um, oh, we got an orange hive. How cool. Hmm, uh, we'll see if we need to or not. The orange one's got bees? All right, here we are in the mesquite. Which is worse, the bees or the mesquites? Yeah, I think he's far enough away, and I don't see any dogs. God damn, this is like a going through the woods here, huh? So, this one has bees? Yes, for sure. All right. Over here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Can I go? Oh, uh, yeah. We don't know what they're gonna go nuts with. Nuts with. Unless you want to go get your suit on. Well, I just want to see. Okay. I don't think I can just get the most of that. If they come boiling Do you want to get your suit be... on? What? Do you want to get your suit on? Just peek it up a little and see. If they come boiling out, you're gonna ski daddle. I will. Which get her ski daddling on. on. Okay, there's oh, a solid oh, it's full. Huh? It's chock full. Bees? Just completely yeah, it's full of bees cool. and comb. Oh boy. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that top board. Come here, hon. Come here, <laughs> check it out. 
So, these are, look at them come pouring out. Uh, I'm going to get a spray adhesive just in case. We didn't bring one? No. Look at that, Daniel. Do we need a pry bar to... No, I just leave them doubled. I'll carry it double. Just leave them doubled up? Yeah, I, I, I've carried dub, doubles a lot. I believe that. All right, watch out okay. behind you. Then. I'm going to get a spray adhesive. And um, can we duct tape that top hole and Oh, it's a bottom. There's yeah, no bottom. The bottom's open. Oh yeah, they're mean. What do you need? Why don't? Do you want me to go get something or? Okay. Oh, to cut the bag. came up to the truck because he was getting stuck through his glove. I tagged along to make sure he was okay. And through the chaos, he's already back on the job site. <laughs> yep, I'm coming. I know. I mean, these anything for meanness. Yeah, they are. I mean, this is just vicious. And so, both, you got stung in the chin? Um, I may have on my shin, because I, I didn't tape up my bottom. Okay. Um, so, well, uh, Daniel's out there. I'm okay, it's just a damage thing. Do you want a dinner drill? No. You want two? I can't even hear you, they're so loud. Yeah, this is what I've been saying. We have you cannot underestimate any of these hives anymore. Any of them. Uh, this is at least an eight-year-old hive and they're nuclear. This is absolutely insane. So we're we've got to try to bag it up as quick as possible to so take it back up to the ranch and uh, destroy them. So probably need more duct tape, especially for the other hive. And I'm hoping that you get down by this one really, and I'm going to recognize that. I feel like I'm going to get closer because honestly they're so loud. Well, go, up, go ahead and get closer. Oh, to me? Yeah. How's it going? You okay? Yeah, I think so. Your shoe is just covered in paint. Wait. Oh. Wow, this is 
I bet you they're brooded up already. Yeah, because the population's huge. Yeah. Right, I got this one flattened out pretty Your, good. Your uh, net is just covered mm -hmm. by rain for a second. Yep, got this one flattened out. So at least we can let this onto it. Now. And, uh, oh, there you go. Now, do you think you can do that or no? Daniel, I'm so sorry. I'm on light duty today. No, Amanda, you have Amanda's rotor cup there. Here, I'm going to get a close-up. There you go. Oh, shit. This is really vicious. Shit. This is, these are fucking mean. I don't even think our suits got this covered through holy shit bees. I'm backing myself into a mesquite tree with Thor. What? What? Look at all that purple. This is why you double, double over your boots, because they only get in between your boots and your pant leg and you have to Oh, that's how that That's why I wear leg warmers. I'm narrating a little bit. <laughs> they they are just completely caked by your ear. Yep. So crazy. You alright? Did you get stung? Yeah, through my suit. Okay. Bring me that spray adhesive, please. Yes. we tell people no no keeping bees anymore in Arizona especially southern any I don't just don't this is so live but she could have died so easily just walking back to her bees so let's go finish this and then we have another hive here to take care of so this is really really mean and it's, the season hasn't even started yet we think Yeah, not, no, you know. So, uh, but he doesn't. But he gets it anyway. And you know, it does. When he gets Botox, it takes the wrinkles out. It really does un until the swelling goes down. box over here? We have one over there. Okay. Did you see the V yard? I did. 
facing the wrong way. It's kind of funny, isn't it? He's over there. I thought the same thing. Oh, we have a pink tide this time. <laughs> so, we don't even know if there's any bees in this one. I haven't seen them coming and going yet, but oh, yep, look. Yep, yeah, they are. Yep, us that one off made that no. one wake up. Yeah. I don't know what's worse out in the desert here, the damn heat or the thorn. I think all the above, right? Mm -hmm. so. Anything in here? Uh, feels like it. Stuck. Nope, wax moth. Wax moth got it. So it looks like we got one hive that does not have any bees in it. Oh, nope, yeah. wax moth. Okay, honey, this is a good education. Okay, let me get close. Let me make my way through all the thorns. <laughs> okay, so this is the second hive on this property. And Daniel, you want to explain wax moths to the killer bee nation? Uh, th this is t typical of a of an unkempt colony. Uh, you generally have to sulfur treat your boxes. Uh, you use a sulfur burner, and that will keep, uh, keep uh, the wax moths from uh, laying their eggs in there. Uh, it only takes. Normally, you'll see those little white cocoons all over there, and uh, you'll you'll notice uh, if you're keeping bees, you'll notice little tunnels through the pollen. Uh, the frames that have pollen in them packed in it already and that's the little larvae that hatch and they actually stay uh, eat tunnels below the comb so the bees have a harder time getting to them exactly. until they emerge as a moth and the moths can actually enter the enter the hive and they don't uh they they don't get bothered by the bees they can't be stung by them their bodies are, are far too rubbery for for the bees to actually sting right uh same thing with the same thing with the worms uh they're they're, they're just like a big rubber squishy thing they're great fishing bait if you're in the yeah exactly waxies too. Yeah, waxies for fishing. Everybody from Wisconsin knows that hey, shit, out right? In, out in Florida, we used to have people ask us all the time, "You mind grab me?" I'd be like, "Man, we're not bad beekeepers." Yeah, right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> waxies, still, it'll ruin a beehive. Now, what's unusual? How many times have you seen this since you've been this working? Is the, this is the first hive that I've in, seen with wax moths in Arizona. Period. Yeah, in, in months and months of dealing with killer bees and killer beehives, they are normally so tough. And that was one reason they were brought over in the 50s, 1950s, was they make twice as much honey or more. And they're super disease resistant and pest resistant. So obviously this hive got sick for some reason. Well, it's still a living being. It's still a thing that gets sick and will die eventually. Well, this one bit the big one. And the other hive did not. Now there is a possibility that that hive, which is excessively aggressive, yeah. came over to this hive and knocked it out and killed all the bees. All right, because they will rob from each other. They are total enemies. Each hive is an enemy of all the other hives. It's very possible that, that nasty, nasty hive came over here, killed all the bees, stung all the pupae to death, stole all the honey, and went home. And then the wax moths were able to take care of, take over. So yeah, these this, are these are a trippy type of bee. They, they look like they almost look like carnies. Really, car like carnolian mix, uh, mix of it. Yeah, they're carnolian. They're because they're small. Oh yeah, these they're are really, super, really, 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 small. really small. And carnolian. That's a that's a very common trait for. Carnies. Now the only common thing that all Africanized bees have is the African part. They can breed. They have bred with every other kind of bee that there is in the Western Hemisphere. That almost looks like German. It's all black almost. It is all black. Wow, what a weird so there's, there's mix. so you got your African, and then who knows how many different types of European in there. It's like a mutt. All right, where the pit bull's the dominant strain. Yeah, I see. There's different sized. There's like different sized. That's really weird, actually. Yeah. There's in one of, hive. Yeah, there's a lot of different sized bees. That's what's weird. Continues to amaze us. So we're gonna haul this puppy huh. out of here, uh, and just because it is just furniture at this point, right? Oh, and look at the critters have gotten in here. See? Oh yeah, look, they were already coming up on the bottom too. Yep, yeah, they were. So this did they, get they outgrown out. it. They had outgrown it. Mm. Wow, that's down there. There you go. So this one's easy to move. <laughs> the other one, it's gonna weigh a little bit and have all sorts of brood and maybe. Yeah, the, the other one is 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 slammed full. And and for this time of year, I imagine it's not stores. It's got to be mostly bee. You would think it would be because they got no flowers. They got nothing to mess with. But hummingbird feeders and stuff. Hummingbird. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we get they're that bright syrup. pink honey. Mmm. They're finding syrup somewhere. So. has bees. Now we say this all the time. 
this gal has bees. The neighbor came over and said, oh, I got bees underneath my store, my roll-off. Everybody, you need to get rid of them in the county because... Yeah, you're finally here, I knocked enough of them off. Really? Yeah, I couldn't hear there for a long time. I couldn't hear anything he was saying. Well, we were just, yeah, talking to the neighbor. He was apologizing for his loud chickens. <laughs> Fucking great, isn't it? Only, only in Cochise County. Only in Cochise. I'm so sorry about my chicken. Oh, killer bees! Ah! Jesus Christ! <laughs> so, um, so he has bees, and so I'm gonna gather up these bricks, hon, because they all have propolis uh -huh. on them. The propolis on the ground. I want to take these bricks back, uh, Daniel, because they have propolis on them, which is a major commodity. The stuff, the propolis on the ground, it's got you know red shit and dirt, but the stuff on the bricks we can actually harvest. <laughs> Propolis, mm -hmm. the tree sap, the magic, antibacterial. It's good for your mm -hmm. stinger. Okay, now, if, if yep. your neighbor has bees, you have bees. And if you have bees, your neighbor has bees. So, uh, everybody out here has bees. So, we might be looking at another holy shit season. That's 2021. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the videos from 2020, which we're still putting up because there were so many of them, right, hon? Mm -hmm. so, I mean, oh, success. So, yes, thank you. So I'm so glad nobody got hurt except us. <laughs> I did that great. <laughs> anyway, um, they were super aggressive. You wouldn't have made it back to the house. So I'm glad they're gone. You can relax. Neighbors can relax okay, and whatnot. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, if you have any questions, give us a call. Okay. KillerBeeGuy.com. All you guys out in Killer Bee Nation land, beehive yourselves. <laughs> You're the best. Yeah. yeah. What? I can't hear you. What was that? They're the best. Well, oh, my darn it all. I can't the bees. Anyway, all right. So um, we're going to say goodbye to Pat, and we're going to buzz off. Okay. So bye. Right. bye. Thank you.